your throwing pattern, are you efficient in your throwing pattern, including your accuracy to your target and also the speed at which that ball travels. The flexibility that that first baseman has in being able to manipulate their feet while they're covering the base is important. That's an athletic feature. How athletic are they to be able to manipulate when a bad throw comes left or right, up or down? How good is their glove to be able to receive balls on the ground at first, maintaining their foot on the base? Some people will say, I have to have a tall first baseman. For me, I wanted somebody that had mastery of those fundamentals. So it's a nice additive to have in that built-in skill of height, because we know if we have height, we have more range, but it's not an absolute. In my experience at UCLA, we had many players that were average in height. And the reason they got that starting position was all of those fundamentals I previously talked about. But that ability to be able to catch the forehand off the ground on an errant throw, to catch the backhand errant throw off the ground from any of your fellow infielders throwing across the infield. And your ability to be able to receive the ball and feel vulnerable to the base runner coming down the line and have that body awareness and that instinct of how long I can keep my glove in line with the runner coming down the line and still make a catch without sacrificing moving my body because I'm afraid I'm going to go ahead and get hit or have contact by the oncoming batter. That was something else. Do they have good instinct on how they can go ahead and catch that ball and get out of the way of that base runner when that's an errant throw? 